Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Potty Boy Plays. Now today, your host, Potty Boy, aka Andrew, is going to be playing Tiny Toon Adventures for the Sega Mega Drive. This was published by Konami back in 1993, and it's based on the absolutely superb TV series of the same name, um, which of course was done by Warner Brothers and Steven Spielberg. Um, now basically this is a um, this is a platform game. Uh, well basically, basically the idea is you play as uh, Buster Bunny, uh, who's the blue bunny on the right if you didn't know. And um, basically what the story is, is uh, basically the um, basically the, uh, the, uh, the tiny tombs themselves, they're basically um, uh, they're, ba they're basically cleaning up a room in the, they're basically cleaning up a room in the warehouse of the uh, Luniversity and they come and come across an old uh, treasure map. And uh, well, well of course nasty Montana Max. Max being greedy for money, snatches it off them, and then gets um, Dr. Gene Spicer to um, like hypnotise all your friends. Friends, and so it's and so it's up to uh, Buster Bunny to go out and uh, rescue his friends, and also to hunt for the hunt for the treasure. Um, now, of course, the full title of this uh, is Time to Adventures Buster's Hidden Treasure. I should have mentioned that beforehand, but never mind. Um, yeah, um, this is a great, great platform game based on a superb TV series. And it is, and it's probably one of the best platforms I've ever played on the Mega Drive. You know, you know without a doubt. You know, it's really colourful. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to play. And it was, and it was, it was just really simple. And... Yeah, but yeah, somehow it, it still proves to be a lot of fun. Anyway, let's get into the game. Um, okay, just sort out my uh, controls for a bit. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, let's, yeah, that's fine. Here we go. Yeah. Alright, so basically, start off, you basically got this like, little map screen here. Yeah, um, it's, Basically, obviously, yeah, hearts all levels and things. And there we go. As you can see, the graphics are really bright and colourful. Oh, it's a bit laggy. Um, but yeah, it, it's really, it's really, yeah, it's a bit, it was a bit laggy though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, um, because, because I'm playing this live because I'm recording it. Oh, Christ. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, oh, yeah, you got to watch out for those little acne can thing, thing what's it say. And uh, yeah, it's a great little game. Game, it's really colourful, really cartoony. Um, I think, and it's it's a lot of fun. It, you know, it does stand out from quite a few other platform games released at the time. So, because platform games were pretty much back then, we have all the rage, like what a certain, like what a certain not very good franchises these days. Um, yeah, I think we all know which one you mean. I think you know which one I mean. If you, if, you, if you listen to our podcast, they are my fusion. Um, but yeah, oh, Christ. But yeah, this is a really, really great little platform game, guys, and I love it to bits. bits. And like I said, I, 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 no, I didn't used to play this one back in the day, but I used to love watching the TV show. show. And um, what I really loved about the TV show was that it was, it was a great little follow up for, to, the, uh, to, the, uh, to the already superb uh, Looney Tunes uh, cartoons of like, the 1950s. Um, and it, yeah, this this is kind of like basically, uh, basically not not them in younger forms, but basically, um, but base but basically like a lot, like, yeah, yeah, they're basically like their little siblings, things and um, yeah, and it, it yeah, it's it's it so like it followed on, followed it on, and it was it was funny, it was well animated, yeah, the boys, yeah, the, the characters were superb. Um, and it, and it, it was brilliant. The storylines were just absolutely crazy and balmy and whatnot. Yeah, completely, totally absurd. <laughs> so, and um, and it was superb. I think it ran for like three seasons, and there was even a uh, like a straight to video film called uh, How I Spent My Vacation, which I've yet to see. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, it it is a superb um, it is a superb TV series. If you haven't seen it already, you should highly check it out. 
you should highly check it out. You can probably find a few episodes on YouTube. So, but if you want to, if you want to watch it legally, <laughs> obviously you can you can buy the first series of iTunes. Um, be one that, but prepare to pay about thirty pound for it. <laughs> oh, yeah, but yeah, it's a great series, and I highly recommend anyone sees it. And of course, they did follow it on with Animaniacs. So, which was another superb uh, series. And in fact, I must get on to um, viewing a few of the ga uh, viewing the games for that one. Um, but yeah, so overall, this is a really, really, really great little platform game. Really love this one. It is a lot of fun. Fun. Um, fun, and I really enjoy it. I actually just recently picked up a copy of this on eBay for about seven quid. And there's Go Go. Uh, yeah. Take him into his other dimension, or at least to the end of the level. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is easily possibly one of the best platformers I've ever played on the Mega Drive. Uh, it's one that it's one that's not that expensive, uh, because it's not not a rare game at all, really. Uh, but it's a great platform game, and it's it's probably one it's probably one of the very best um, TV to game adaptations I've ever played. played. It's really highly polished. Polish, it's just great fun to play. Yeah, my apologies if it's a bit laggy in this video. I don't know why it is. <laughs> the, like, the likes of like um, the likes of the yeah retro time guys are probably saying it's my Mac. <laughs> no, it's, I think it's probably because I've got a few programs running in the background doing a few things. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, it's like I said, check this out, guys. It's a wonderful little game. Game it really is a lot of. Really is, uh, is a lot of fun. It looks like a box standard platform game, and you could say it pretty much is. But um, but it was it's just done. It's just executed so well. Um, so uh, you know, it, like I said, it is easily. Pop you know, I only really started playing this one a few months ago via emulation, and I think it's I think it's one of the best games I've ever played. On the Drive, it's easily one of my favourite platformers. It's up there with the likes of like Aladdin, um, Aladdin, Summit the Hedgehog, of course, uh, Dynamite Heady, and it's it's just a superb little platform game. Really, really love. It's a really, really good one. Good one, and I highly recommend it. Oh Christ! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, I've been uh, I've been Potty Boy. Uh, that's I should be back soon with another video. Uh, pretty soon, actually. Um, there's a couple of Mega Drive games I want to do. Um, I will try and upload some more, upload some more videos. Um, uh, yeah, I'll try and upload some more uh, videos more frequently. Uh, it's just obviously I've been, you know, been trying to sort out some. I've been busy with work and sorting out stuff with the uh, retro, with the uh, retro, uh, retro resistance. Crikey! Oh, my fusion podcast. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> oh dear. Even. I can't even remember the name of the new podcast. Oh dear. Yeah, I've been at work today, today guys, and I've been up since about 20 past 7, so uh, yeah, so I'm a little bit on the tired side. But yeah, like I said, I've been a bit busy at work and preparing, and obviously been preparing stuff for, for the new site, and of course, uh, watching a few older TV series, and uh, and of course, playing stuff like Nino Kuni and stuff. So, I'm not, so I've, you could say I've not really actually been doing many, you know, not really spending enough time doing reviews, <laughs> but I'm going to try and rectify that. And anyway, uh, so Tiny Seas Adventures, fantastic game from Konami, uh, one of the best Mega Drive platform games I've ever played, and based on a great TV show. Um, this is uh, Potty Boy over and out, and I shall be back again soon with another review. Bye for now. Things like this, things like that. It's all good in the long run.